In this lesson, we're going to learn about protein molecules and how heat transforms them. Protein is an essential nutrient, and as mentioned before, eggs have a lot of it. A protein molecule is a long strand made up of a chain of amino acids. This spiraled strand folds over on itself numerous times, forming internal bonds along its length that cause it to stick to itself. The result is a molecule shaped like a wad of coils. Imagine an old-fashioned phone cord that's in a bit of a tangle. Because of its shape, it keeps to itself even though it's surrounded by other protein molecules of its kind. You might say it's uptight. When the internal bonds of a protein are broken, the strand relaxes and uncoils. This change from its natural state to a different form is called denaturing. The new shape allows individual protein strands to get together and form bonds with each other, forming a crisscross network. When this happens with eggs, they're changed from a liquid into a solid mass or gel that you can pick up with a fork. This transformation is called coagulation. The loner molecules have bonded together and formed a group. Bless their hearts. Now gather the materials for our denaturation and coagulation activity, and let's take a few minutes to model this transformation. You'll need 12 wiki sticks and a wooden skewer or some other thin rod, such as a crochet needle. Wrap each wiki around the skewer to form a tight coil. Twist the two ends of the wiki in opposite directions to break the tension, then slide it off the end. Fold it over on itself a few times, pressing points of contact to create bonds. Continue this process until you have a group of shapes simulating protein molecules in their natural form. Now separate and unwind each wiki to simulate denaturing. Finally, arrange the relaxed wikis into a crisscross web to simulate coagulation. Once you've got all the strands where you want them, press the points of contact to create the new bonds. You may be wondering what breaks the internal bonds so the process can begin. Proteins can be denatured by heat, mechanical force, acids, or salt. We'll start off by focusing on the heat process, which of course is cooking. Let's think for a minute about what's going on in the unseen world. All molecules move all the time, but at different rates. Molecules in solids like ice are packed together tightly and they barely move. In liquids like water, they move more and spread out more. In gases like steam, they spread widely and move vigorously. The hotter a substance gets, the more its molecules move. Our next activity demonstrates molecular movement in water and it will help us see this principle in action. You'll need two clear glasses, preferably identical, two bottles of liquid food coloring, two liquid measuring cups or jars, water, and ice. Set up your observation area with the glasses and food coloring. Combine one and a half cups of cold water and one half cup of ice in a measuring cup or jar. Pour one and a half cups of hot tap water into a separate cup or jar. Microwave for 30 seconds to heat the water further. Next, remove all the ice from the cold water. 
Fill one glass with the hot water and fill the other glass with the cold water, doing your best to get the levels about even. Condensation will form on the cold glass, but you'll still be able to see the results. It's important to give the water a few seconds to stop moving to get good results. When the water is still, add a drop of food coloring to each glass at the same time and observe how the color spreads. This is called dispersion. We're using red food coloring for the hot water and blue for the cold. Pause this lesson now if you want to see your own results before you watch ours. As you can see, the color in the hot water is spreading more quickly than the color in the cold water. Why is this so? The molecules in the hot water are moving more vigorously than the molecules in the cold water, so the red food coloring is really getting around. Now let's think about what this has to do with cooking eggs. When a protein gets hot enough, the movement of the molecule becomes so vigorous that it breaks the internal bonds that are holding it in its natural shape. Voila, it has been denatured. As cooking continues, the unfolded protein strands bump into each other and bond together. That's coagulation. You witness this as the white of an egg changes from translucent to solid white during cooking. When the albumin is raw, you can see through it because there is enough space between the individual protein molecules for light to pass through. Once they coagulate, they form a mesh that's so dense it deflects light. The longer you heat the proteins and the higher the temperature, the tighter the mesh becomes. If you take it too far, water molecules that are trapped in the mesh will get squeezed out and you'll end up with a dry or rubbery result. Now it's time to show what you know with a comprehension check. Using wiki sticks and your own words, explain what occurs in denaturing and coagulating. You can either shoot a video of yourself or give a demonstration for someone else. In our next lesson, we'll crack a few eggs and get things heated up in the kitchen.